Lake Charles, Louisiana, Saturday night, facing the 10th-ranked Manise State Cowboys. The Cowboys came out firing, scoring on their first three possessions of the game, giving them a 17-0 lead after the first quarter. The Wildcats would settle down and outscored the Cowboys 20-14 the rest of the way, but still fell 31-20. McNeese is a good football team. Coach Viator and his staff, uh, I've got a lot of respect for those guys. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a classy bunch. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate the way they competed, just like, uh, just like the way our, our guys competed. ECU's defense competed and forced McNeese to do something they hadn't done much all season, turn the ball over. You know, good teams force people into doing things that are uncharacteristic. Well, they, they, they came in here with five turnovers total, uh, and they had six tonight. The Wildcat defense got two interceptions in the first half, including a Justin Stevens pick that prevented the Cowboys from scoring right before half. In the second half, ECU forced four fumbles that helped keep them in the game. We could tell all, all week long that these guys will fumble the ball if uh, you know if you get you get them hemmed up. If you go after the ball, then uh, uh, then we may get it and get one or two. And we actually got more than that. ACU's offense capitalized on those chances, getting touchdowns from DeAndre Brown and Demarcus Thompson to round out the scoring on the night. This game was the first of five straight Southland Conference games to end the season for the Wildcats. Well, it's a it's a it's a deal now where. Okay, if you want to know what the upper echelon looks like in the league, I mean, look across the sideline. The Wildcats will look across the sideline next week to see the Sam Houston State Bearcats. That game will be played in Huntsville and is slated to kick off at 3 p.m. For ACSports.com, I'm Seth Wilson. Sam is scaring the football for a long time.